The state needs to sponsor immigration and provide housing and assistance. The state should close its borders and prevent people from other countries from coming in. Both of these positions are unethical and violate individual property rights. Here, the principled person will find themselves neither siding with the left or the right positions on immigration. Let's break down these positions for their actual meaning. Government-sponsored immigration and state welfare programs are nothing more than the government extorting money from one group of people and giving it to another group of people. The same thing goes for anything provided by the state, as this is just simply the nature of taxation. In case you needed a reminder, taxation is theft. Closed borders is government restriction of movement and is the initiation of force against people who have not aggressed against anyone. While I can empathize with this position as being a defensive reaction to the left's violation of property rights, this position is unethical as well and only serves to increase the state's violence against peaceful people. Closed borders means that the government, an elite group of people accountable to virtually no person in particular, can control who gets to come into a specific region. And who gets to be let out and into another region. Closed borders means that governments can prevent carriers from transporting people on a contractual and voluntary basis. Closed borders means that governments can restrict who can bring what ideas into a country, like certain books or papers that might not be supportive of the government's regime. Closed borders means that families separated across state lines cannot connect without the state's permission. Closed borders means that businesses cannot hire whoever they see fit, no matter the location. Closed borders means that people and businesses are denied the sovereignty over their own property, and that denial is enforced with violence. The state should neither restrict nor fund immigration. The state shouldn't restrict people from coming in who have used their own money to travel, their own money for housing, and their own voluntary means to acquire wealth. People should be free to move where they want to upon voluntary agreement or on land that is not privately owned. Note that private land does not include the so-called public land the state arbitrarily claims ownership over. The state shouldn't subsidize and fund immigration either and pay for people to travel, live, and eat. The state shouldn't kick people off of their justly acquired property and give it up to somebody else regardless if that somebody else is a refugee from a war-torn country. People should be free to keep the money and property that they have justly acquired via voluntary means and per Lockean tradition. The only ethical and principled position is to advocate for the termination of all private property violations, including government-sponsored immigration, government-restricted immigration, all government welfare programs, all laws restricting the freedom to own and carry guns and other weapons, all wars, including the so-called wars on drugs, poverty, and terror, all laws justifying eminent domain, all forms of taxation starting with property and income taxes. Don't be fooled into supporting these collectivist and statist positions, and instead focus on spreading the principles that will advance liberty. Liberty will be achieved through changing minds and spreading principles, not through compromising them and having an ends justifies the means mentality. If you want to see liberty grow and tyranny shrink, then you must reject the initiation of force and advocate for self-ownership, non-aggression, individualism, and the protection and respect of private property rights. Yes, please. Yes, please.